and welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are doing our last ride of 2023. Hard to believe 2023 has come and gone that quickly. It's been an interesting year, a fast year, and I appreciate all the uh, folks who have subscribed to my channel here, Oregon E-Biker Mark, and making it bigger and better, and uh, All those views and, uh, that have been accumulating and also uh, the thumbs up. Thank you very much for supporting the channel and we look for uh, some bigger, better things coming up in 2024. we'll just continue to grow and see where we can take it I'm not gonna put numbers on what where we want to go or see or anything I just want it to just happen and just keep growing like it has been and hopefully we can get some uh, a few bikes sent to us to do review on in the upcoming year And we'll continue to have more guests on along the way. Hopefully we can uh, line up some people to uh, join us and maybe do some uh, group rides. They may be small groups, but that's okay. Group rides are always fun. Sometimes too many in a group can, can get a little out of hand as far as managing and it takes a lot of time and doing. For me, myself, I probably wouldn't have enough time to organize a uh, large group ride or anything like that. It's uh, time consuming enough doing, a, or at least for the most part, doing a daily uh, YouTube video. I very rarely miss a day now. Pretty much get a video up every day. I do my best to do that and also uh, working full time so it doesn't leave you a lot of time and occasionally I'll be gone for a uh, week vacation or something like that and so I either put I'll either have to do videos ahead or just skip a few days which I did when I went to Tennessee uh, just missed a few days but but that's okay we got back in the swing of it and back at it again I try to keep my eye on what's going on in the e-bike world especially with the scrambler style bikes like the one I'm riding, the Lyric Graffiti. I like to see what's going on with those bikes and uh, try to keep tabs on 
what's going on in the, in that area. And also uh, sometimes I'll get comments from you, the viewer out there, letting me know that uh, check out this bike or that bike. And I always appreciate that too, because I mean, as much as I try to look things up and keep up tabs on things, you don't necessarily always see everything. So I don't know all the bikes, but I try to do my best to keep up with it. But I uh, do appreciate the fact that once in a while I'll get someone say, hey, have you checked out this bike or go check this one out. And um, some of them, I gotta say, are uh, pretty darn good. By the sounds of things, anyway. Um, I'm looking for more to see if we can find more like 60 volt and 72 volt bikes out there. There's not very many 72 volt. I can, you know, from what I've seen, there's not a lot of those. But there's, there's, there's some. I mean, you got like the Onyx uh, RCR, you've got the uh, Lyric Voodoo. Uh, but we're seeing more, I'll, I'll say this, we are seeing more 60 volt bikes, and that's pretty cool. I like seeing that. And um, hopefully uh, it's a trend that continues because. I think there's enough people out there that want a little more uh, power in their ride that I think there's a market for it. But with the higher voltage, more powerful bikes comes a, a bigger price tag. So not everybody is going to want to spend the big bucks, you know, on a, on a bike. But there's enough uh, budget price bikes out there. I mean, bikes are, you can get a bike right now as low as like a thousand dollars. It's de decent, you know, it's not, it might not be top of the line or anything, but great starter bikes get you started, you know, and then you get, you get into it. If you're like me, you'll get into it and then you'll, you'll want something a little more and a little more. I mean, if you don't get a bike that's better than the last bike, then unless there's something wrong with the bike and it's just time to get a new one, you've worn it out or whatever, then uh, it doesn't make sense to do a lateral move like that. So uh, I always want to get something with a, just something a little more, I don't know. Whether it's a little more power, a little more battery a little bigger like motor or or if nothing else uh sometimes i want to get a something with a really good look to it you know if you got everything else maybe you want something that's really nice to look at So if you got a comment uh, to make on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. I try uh, to uh, read all of the uh, comments and sometimes I don't respond, but I read your comments. Sometimes I don't know what to say. Either I can't understand or make out what you're saying or I just don't have a response for you because I don't, you know, I'm just, you might have already said it and nothing needs to be said but if if i have a response i will respond or i try hard anyway to get to them all like i say it is it all of this is time consuming it'd be nice just to go full-time youtuber and, and be able to do that but that's not there's no way that can be so, 
Hey, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for coming along for the last ride of 2023. If you like this video, hit the uh, like button. If you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and uh, that's much appreciated. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, you can always hit that notification bell and you'll never miss a video. It'll let you know that, hey, a new video on Oregon e-biker mark is now up for viewing. So once again, thank you for watching this video and we'll catch you in 2024.